on. I'll give a shout to Viral Hip Hop uh, channel. I watched that channel and uh, they had a dynamic uh, attorney on. Uh, her name was Akisha Al Shabazz, and she was a very professional sounding soul sister, very professional. And they talked about the, the music industry, artists, uh, record company insurances, you know, and how this is what they're doing. And listen to the interview, there was one thing that kept hitting me in my head when Prince put slave on his face. And even though I wouldn't say because a guy who had creative control and aspects of his career was a slave per se, unlike he had a little Richard kind of deal, he did have a valid point about how the industry owned you. And you can best believe that when he died, they couldn't wait to get into his vault and put anything and everything out to get get all the money. You know, and I've said that in other instances, especially with black artists are concerned. But the, what they're doing with the rappers ah, and R&B artists, there's the things that they're doing, which they're going to get the bag. They IEQ you off, which you see a lot of these guys doing, or they get the RICO charges. Either way, they're going to stay getting the bag off of you. Meanwhile, artists don't have insurance. And the lawyers that are representing them work for the company. So how does that work? You know, so you really have to out be the smart, I think the fox. You got to figure out how to get out, be the hen and get out the house before you get got. Can artists survive with this jungle? Are you always just a slave? And I'm what, what uh, attorney Shabazz said really potent. She said, there's no different. A lot of these companies, the insurance companies were around during slavery, uh, but the massive loss of a person that they were reimbursed, well, that's what these companies do. So when Prince said that the industry called them slave quarters, that's what they are. Before people talk about the royalties and all the money, do you understand what you sign? Do you understand what you give away? And when you get older and you're not touring as much or you're not generating them sales and you know there are no music in the sales today, and you know that they're trying to get into your 360 deals to get part of your merch, what you got to fall back on. They don't play a fair game of commerce. They run Monopoly the way they want to. And the artists get left in the cold. That's the cold reality. So if they don't kill you off, they lock you up. If you remember, they used Tupac and Biggie's prime examples. That was the modern day etch and sketch. So when you saw somebody, a princess talent walk around talking about a slave, you saw Michael Jackson protesting what Sony Music do. And I always say R. Kelly's situation because I'm going to tell you something. I believe he was trying to get his masters back. He went in and talking and he locked him up. When you when you ain't making the bag no more, it's funny how they work. It's tied together before people get into about, well, his situation. No, they didn't want him out. They would have wiped him out 20 years ago. But the money was good. But he got old. Money ain't the same. All this ties together. You see these rappers getting killed off left and right who some are trying to be independent, some are not. They're getting them knocked off or they locking people up. You see all the stuff that comes out or they buy them out and they keep certain people afloat. You ain't never going to hear Puffy or Dr. Dre or Jay-Z or none of them turkeys speak out on what's going on because they ain't good on a massive plantation. But you see with this whack Whitney Houston movie that's out now, how it infiltrates and in from Sam Cooke. You go back to what Lil Richard was talking about, what Jackie Wilson went through, what James Brown with the IRS, all that. It's all ties. It's all tied. Please hit like, subscribe, welcome thoughts or comments, and I do respond. Thank you. Wash your hands. Keep your mind clear. Watch out for another. Share the video if you want to. And the music industry plantation is alive and well. They ensure to stay in your pockets to ensure that you don't have any left in yours. I'm out.